We're going to the airport. I need your car, sir. Oh my god. <laughs> Welcome, my friends. So glad you could join me. My name is Wonka, and today we're going to be playing Demolish and Build 2018. If you guys are still enjoying you want to see more, do me a favor, tickle that like button, leave me a comment down below, and we'll be sure to blow some stuff up. As always, if you're new here or you haven't already, be sure to punch your golden ticket by hitting that subscribe button. Without further ado, we're just going to hop right in. I hope you guys enjoy, and I think you will. All right, welcome back to this sandy desert of a place. I believe if you if you look here, there's an airport, and I believe the next office that we get when our company rating goes up at 400 net worth is is in a new place. So we might get to see that today. Spoilers alert! I, I, you're supposed to say that at the beginning, but I I saved it for later. But there was one more thing that we need in order to do what we're gonna do. And that is this little beautiful piece of machinery right here. We need 10,500 in order to do it. So we're going to have to do one quick job. And you might say that's boring. But I say this is going to be the best job yet. Because we're going to come on over to Lorraine over here. She's going to hook us up with some explosives. Now I'm going to buy... I'm going to buy one. Just because we need to save our money as much as we can. But I do want to check out these explosives. Hopefully one packs a mean punch. I guess we will find out very, very soon. So, we are here at this abandoned house. Before you can build a house, you gotta destroy it. So, we're gonna go in here, and as you can see, we have permission to use up to two explosive charges, which would have cost us $1,200. I'm looking to make a little bit more of a profit than anything. So, if we have stuff that doesn't work with the explosives, because we don't have to use the explosives, we can just clear it out with any of these. We are actually missing the wheeled excavator, so hold on. Gonna have to buy it anyways, so might as well do so now. There it is. Look at it in all of its glory, the wheeled excavator. Why doesn't it have a track? Why did they go with wheels? Maybe the next world has more upgrade. Oh, hello. Nice, our company rating has increased. Oh, I didn't even need to... Alright, that's all I had to do the whole time. I've managed to get permission for us to start a company branch in Dorfenburg. You need to go to the airport and travel to our new company location. Before you can start con taking contracts in Dorfenburg, you first need to buy and prepare a company building first. Didn't, did he say first twice? New place, blowing things up. I've never been more torn in my life, and I'm perfectly in the middle of this road. This is so symbolic. I don't even know what to do with myself right now. We're going to the airport. I need your car, sir. Oh my god. <laughs> That's right. I am a force to be reckoned with. How did I do that? Let's try this again. I'm going to need your car, sir. Okay, well, I don't know how that happened with that guy. He is in a paper truck. Oh, yes. Onward, steed. Hurry up. Oh, I don't actually move with him. He just slowly moves out from under me. And take this! Oh! Jumped it. Put that on YouTube. Alright, we're almost here. Long fences keeping out potential terrorists is a, is a sign that we're near the airport. This is a pretty ghetto-looking airport. Maybe I'm just privileged. Although, I feel like all the airports I've seen in the movie don't look like an ex-Russian detention camp. All right, we're here. There's lots of question marks. There's lots of parking. Thankfully, I didn't bring my truck because what I had to pay for parking. Everybody knows airport parking is expensive. If you don't know how to use the parking lots yet, what are you doing at the airport? How did you get this far? So here we are. Departures is what we're looking for to Dorfenberg. Are we in Gold Valley? Or is that another place we could go? I don't know. Well, we're gonna go to Dorfenberg. Like a good little employee. Wait, I thought we were bosses this come. How did this turn around? Houston, you may have crashed. Oh, no, we're good. Welcome to Dorfenburg. I don't know the accent in Dorfenburg, but that's going to be it for, for right now. This looks much nicer. Now, this is an airport that I could feel comfortable flying out of. And we have punch buggies, so whoever's close to you, give them a good old punch in the arm for me. 
All right, so now what? We need to go to our scenario. I guess we need to, uh, do we, does our pickup truck come all the way here with us? I, that was extremely skilled. I was just jumping from car to car like a, like a maniac. Oh, we only get our pickup truck here. Do we have a new pickup truck? Is this the same pickup truck? I can't remember. I don't know. Is this a Dorfenberg truck? Or is this just the same truck? I think I'm putting too much thought into the truck here. So welcome to Dorfenberg. We're not in like the desert anymore. We're not in Kansas anymore, Toto. Uh-oh, stop sign. Don't wanna disrespect our, oh God, new surroundings. <clears throat> <clears throat> Don't look around while you're turning. Pro tip of the day. Um, am I going the right way? Let's see what this truck can do. If it's a new truck, we gotta test its off-road capabilities. So far, it's not bottoming out. Oh, it bottomed, uh-oh! <clears throat> um, didn't bottom out, though. Might have almost flipped on its side, but it didn't bottom out. It also goes through bushes like they're not even existent, which I appreciate. <laughs> and, um, we're here. Just like that. Got the job done. Hold on, we should probably move off of the road. Give me a second, sir. I know you're gonna wanna pass. Punch buggy. No punch backs. No punch backs. Get out of here, you can't punch back. God damn, $5,000. You could have told me that I needed $5,000 before I came here because clearly, <sighs> what a tease. Let's, uh, let's actually go blow the house up. The correct decision when I was standing in the middle of the road there was to blow this house up. <sighs> this is going well. It's going extremely well. I am completely calm. Nothing is making me angry. There, I have two. Are you happy? Used all of my money. All right, now can I accept the job? Of course not. Missing license. That's why I didn't have to buy it. How come I didn't need a license for the cargo truck? I'm pretty sure you definitely need a license for the cargo truck. Who knows? Good thing I'm doing this at sunset, though. This is going to be a beautiful... The most beautiful vehicle exam you've ever witnessed. Title of my new EP. Incoming call. Cousin, let's go bowling. Uh, wrong number. Okay, cousin, I'll talk to you later. What is this? Vehicle equipment. So we need to demolish the the brick walls using the claw. The claw. If you've never seen Toy Story before, that's gonna go whew, right over your head. Here we go. Grapple bucket. That sounds like a claw. Oh, we have to toggle mode. Can I just go like this? <laughs> well, that answers that question, doesn't it? Um, let's just. Point the claw at things, maybe? Perfect. The claw! Okay, I'm having too much fun with the claw here. But, but it's very effective. You don't really gotta move it much, you just kinda poke things. And they crumble just at the sight of the claw. We're gonna get these wooden ones, too. <laughs> They're so much quieter, they just... <laughs> just kinda poof. The zebra wall is coming down. It ain't no match for the claw. I mean, hell, if extraterrestrials trust in the claw, you would be stupid not to. The claw is almighty. Let's uh, go back to the abandoned house for the hopefully last time. Blow some damn stuff up. All right, take out the trash. So take that. I lied. How come we can't just crumble the whole house on top of itself and say, screw it? This is my question. Can I put this in the back of my truck? No. This was a bad idea. I thought maybe I could take it... Uh-oh. I thought maybe I could take it to, like, the scrap place or something like that. But, turns out you can't, so I'm gonna clean the garbage out and I'll, uh, see you when I have the explosives in my hand. Oh, we also gotta demolish some walls inside. I didn't read the, uh... Second task here. Ah, bringing me back to my first day on the job. For good old Ivan, cousin. He wants to go bowling. I should really, I should really call him. We, we need to go bowling. Task is done. Wall looks like it's standing, but is not standing. 
So where's the rest of this garbage? Oh, okay, the tires and the barrel. Kobe. Of course, it's all the way in this other random house. I thought this was abandoned house, not abandoned houses. These are like are completely different properties if you ask me. So if we look here, I don't think I've ever actually shown you guys this. We can kind of see where the house has the most structure, where it's weak, etc, etc. So it looks like it gets a lot of its structure from this wall. <laughs> the rest of it's kind of yellow. So if we destroy this wall, potentially, all these yellow and orange spots will, will cave in. That's the goal here. Okay, which one's the bomb button? Oh, okay, seven is the bomb. That's the detonator for the bomb. So we're going to place a bomb right in this corner to hopefully get those two walls. I don't know, maybe we should have put it more in the center of the house. We're going to find out how big this explosion truly is. Maybe we'll stand a little bit further back. We're going to hide behind the pickup truck here. And then we're going to switch to uh, this button. And, uh... Oh, that wasn't so bad. How much damage did that do? Okay, pretty good amount. I can appreciate that. Right. We're going to stand a little closer. About, actually, let's let's watch it from the open side. So we can maybe see what happens here. Now! Oh. Well, that, well, that worked out pretty good. Unfortunately, we're going to need, we only had permission for two. So we're going to need to uh, call in the excavator here. And go to work. We're also gonna try, have to try, and avoid the wheel poppers. Oh! <laughs> Are you serious? Can I fix it? Oh no. I hit a bump and I went right into it. What do I do? Just what I need. Cutting into my damn profits. So we go here, this tire, replace for 200. All right, let's get over to this other house and destroy the crap out of it. It is no match uh -oh. for the claw. Bring it on, house. Let's see what you got. Oh, uh-oh. Oh, no. Oh, no. The house is winning! Help! Not today, house. You are no match for the claw. No match. Let's try this again, house. You think you're so clever, alright? Catching my arm like a damn judo grasshopper sensei master. Yeah, wrap your head around that, house. Take this! This is what happens when you try to mess with me. If you can't take the pebble from my hand, you shouldn't be trying to take it. None of this is making sense to anybody, but that's... That's okay, because I did it. Ha! Now I just need to, uh, get the hell out of that thing and destroy the hell out of the fence. And I believe this is what we could have used to say, hey, you want to pop wheels, huh? You think you're tough? Take that. Not so tough now, are you? If I had done that to begin with, maybe I would still have a wheel. Or I, one of those wheels wouldn't be my wheel. Something like that. This is easy. This fence doesn't even stand a chance. Bring me a tougher competitor. And it's one, two, three. <clears throat> <laughs> I don't know why I like counting in this game so much. It's like Sesame Street over here. Today's magic number is four. Ha <laughs> ha. One, two, three, four. Four times the fun. <laughs> Where the hell my truck at? How you gonna take my truck away like that? Shall we try to climb the mountain? This could go really bad, but we're gonna try and climb the mountain. Don't you stop. Don't you cut out on me. Nope. Stop it. No. Come on. We're going up. You know what? Fine, damn it. We're not going up. Oh boy, we're going right into a rock. We're good. 
This mountain is ours, pickup truck. Don't let anyone tell you otherwise. We shall get to the top. It is going to happen. Just accept it into your loins. Oh boy. That was a little little sharp turn there, bud. You got a little too anxious to climb. We gotta take this slow and steady. Like the toitus and the toitus. Alright. The turtus the turtus and the whale. Alright, that's the, the the ever famous race. Between the sea tortoise and the whale. Come on. Come on, you frickin' whale. Don't be the whale, be the sea tortoise, or... Whichever one won. I don't really know the story, clearly. We're doing it. We're doing it. We're doing it. We're the whale that climbed the mountain. Look at us. Nothing can stop us now. The world is our oyster. Or whale. What do whales eat? Krill? Oh, shit. I'm here. I'm here. There's definitely no parking anywhere near here. I want it. That's what I thought. Got a uh, mirror. Where'd it go? What the hell? Give me my mirror back. Where the fuck did my mirror go? At least I have one mirror. Can console myself with that. Screw this, I'm going home. There's more where that came from. You can have your stupid mirror. And uh, it's definitely a different truck. Now that I'm seeing our pickup truck again, I got a little confused. And um, you're right, I am, I'm an idiot. That is 100% a different truck in Dorfenberg. And it definitely rides a little better. Yeah! Uh-oh. Yes! Oh my god. It is a breakdancing truck. Okay, what am I getting here? Anybody home? There's, there's a green circle here. So there's supposed to be something. Oh, what is this? Did anyone else see this thing glow? There's gold in it! <gasps> it's a gold rock. It's a gold rock. Oh, our gold ore is at 100%. Holy crap. Um, I want the gold rock. We're gonna get that gold rock. Ha-ha! <laughs> gold. My robot is parked right beside the gold. And if it disappears... Good. Good piece of gold. Ho! Oh, $2,170. That's the kind of gold bar that I'm looking for. So, um, screw everything else here. I'm go- No, stop. I said screw everything else here. I'm going back to Dorfenberg. Business trip. I mean, clearly our quote-unquote business partner is, uh, getting all the pleasure trips while we get all the business trips, and then he's telling his wife he's at our house, and I don't really feel like I want to be an associate to this- to this nastiness. Alright, let's buy it. Five thousand. Yes, please. No materials required. We need to deliver crates to a specific spot and cut the metal enforcement. There's only one way to find out. You cut it and hope for the best. If the whole place comes crashing down, well now you know for next time that you cut the wrong thing. If I get really close to one, I can cut it and then cut the next one from here if I was actually on target for both of them. But I wasn't. Maybe the whole building will come crashing down and it'll be fun. Dang. Someone built it properly. Deliver crates. Where are the crates? Are you a crate? You are a crate. Where's the spot? The garbage. That's, that's the spot. <laughs> Thank you for telling me. I'll be here all week. A lot of picking stuff up and throwing it in the garbage. Seems to be the, uh... The demolition way. This is actually the worst part about working demolition, in my opinion. Is cleaning th things up and putting things in the garbage and hauling things around like that. Getting in a piece of machinery or pulling out a hammer and going ham is, um, is all the pleasure I need in life. Where is the last one? If you're wondering, you can actually play this game without the vision and make it a little more challenging for yourself. I just figured I wouldn't get stuck wandering around for half an hour. Hello? Oh, you had another fun night out, I guess, huh? 
Okay, we are set. You can get contracts and buy machines here. You can also earn cash by recycling old cars and trains in the scrap market. Where the hell did that guy come from? Just cruising by slowly, rubbernecking. Get out of here. Nothing to see here. This is mine. You hear me? Mine. Yeah, batter up. Take this with your Mercedes ass. Get it out of here. Because that's it, folks. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did and you want to see more, do me a favor, tickle that like button, leave me a comment down below. As always, if you're new here or you haven't already, be sure to punch your golden ticket by hitting that subscribe button. And remember, being on the job site, it's like Christmas. You do all the work and some fat guy in a suit takes all the credit. Take her easy. <laughs>